So it's spring break for most students across North Texas right now. And for families who are not jetting off to ski the slopes or play on the beach, there's still plenty to do each day right here in DFW. And here to offer some fresh new ideas for spring break staycation is Stephanie Alman Mary from Culture Map. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you feeling over there? Good morning, Damon. I'm great. How are you today? I'm well. So if you're staying home, it's easy to fall into that rut, Stephanie, of watching TV and playing on all those devices. What are some new places to get families active and out of the house? Well, of course, we used to call this just staying home for spring break, and now we call it a staycation. On uh, Culture Map, we have rounded up 10 all new events and activities that have launched or opened since last year's spring break. Everything from a circus to a mermaid party, they're at the top of our homepage now, and we'll just dive right in. The first uh, idea is going to get you just into nature. It is an all new, um, Go Ape Zipline and Adventure Park. It just opened in Arlington at River Legacy Park East. There's also a location in Plano, but this new one in Arlington, you can take a three hour treetop adventure with more than 60 obstacles, a Tarzan swing, plenty of zip lines with an eagle eye view of the Trinity River below. And then there's also a one hour version. Um, it's it, There's also an outdoor ax throwing range at the same location. So lots to do there. And tickets for the zip lining start around $40 and it is open for kids of all ages. That looks pretty unique. And Stephanie, you know, theme parks and water parks, they're all big draws over spring break. Anything new going on there? Yes, at Epic Waters, the indoor water park in Grand Prairie, there's a brand new water slide called Locura. Now that translates from Spanish as craziness or madness, and it really kind of is. So riders climb to the top of a 70 foot tower, step inside a chamber, then the uh, floor drops and you're launched into a 40 foot free fall. Then you race through a horizontal figure eight loop at 35 miles per hour. The whole slide's about um, 387 feet long and the, of course it's open rain or shine admission starts around $34. The other big deal new water attraction everybody's talking about the new Aquaman Power Wave water coaster opening at Six Flags Over Texas today. Now this is a first of its kind water coaster in North America. You go backwards and forwards and straight down into a huge splashdown at the end. It's opening in conjunction with Six Flags special Scream Break evening events. So it might be a little less crowded if you go at night um, than it, it might be during the day. So that is for adrenaline junkies for sure. Man, you're telling us about some good stuff. I don't even have a spring break, but I want to uh, figure this how to go out, out and get to enjoy those things. So that's yeah. pretty thrilling stuff right there. If you want something a little quieter, Stephanie, and maybe even something educational, what are some good options there? So many great things going on at uh, museums this week. One brand new exhibit is at the George W. Bush Presidential Center on the SMU campus. It's called Freedom Matters, and it is a display of rare historic documents, the Declaration of Independence, Constitution, Emancipation Proclamation, as well as some important writings by Martin Luther King Jr. and others. And it uh, just opened, and the museum is actually open this week, even though SMU is on spring break. All right, Stephanie, finally, what's one wild card idea that maybe no one would think of? How about going on a ghost hunt? Uh -oh. There are a lot of uh, DFW ghost tours, but one that just launched in the Fort Worth stockyards is called Cowtown Ghosts. And it, it they say it is uh, kid-friendly. Of course, parents can decide, but it's a one-hour walking tour that goes behind the hauntings of some of what they say are the most haunted places in the wild, wild west. Tickets are $25. I believe the next one is coming up uh, this weekend. So check that out. Uh, we have all this information on our website and links to uh, these places and many more. All right, Stephanie, thanks so much for always bringing us some perspective and good ideas. Again, you can find out those options on Culture Map's website and on WFAA.com.